It's been a minute since we did a vlog, especially about my garden. Today, we're gonna give you an update and then actually plant stuff because let's just say we've done a lot of things since the last video and we learned a couple lessons. One is which we're gonna show you in a second. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications and you give this video a thumbs up. And eh, let's dive in. So to get things underway, we did something very different this year. We built a greenhouse. We got this pretty much at Clarence at wintertime at Lowe's for like 20 bucks. We got two of them. One for this year, one for next year. And we planted everything from seed inside of there. You can see how this looks. And inside, we got a lot of stuff growing already. Ah, if I can get in here. <sighs> everything from parsley. This is supposed to be peppers. We've got mint down below and blueberries. Onion. Tomatoes, which are too tiny to do anything with right now. More parsley, more onion and then string beans. Some of these things are ready to be planted. And so we planted some things outside already, such as the mint. And now we're doing the cucumbers. And this is the same setup. Here's Ira grabbing all the cucumbers out. You see how big they are. And we're using the same footprint, but we learned our lesson from last year. And that is animals love to go inside and eat. So instead we bought these things, which essentially you're gonna drag them over and make a push you out of it in a way, and then put a net over top of it. The hope is to stop the deer from getting in there, or Daniel, who is our resident groundhog. On a complete side note, I've luckily saved our apple tree. Look how big it is. I caught off the first few feet. We took care of all those vines up there, and now it's, it's coming together really nicely. You can see it here. I still think it's way too big. I'll have to cut down more branches and, of course, snip all these things off because too many... Too much energy is being used towards them, which are not going to produce anything. And on a complete side note, we decided to do something different this year, and that is rip up some of our grass and actually put some grass down. Not on this side, because we're going to have a lot of equipment coming in and out. Though last year, we did that part, and it mostly came back. This section did not, but this entire way going that way was covered with trees and wasn't growing anything. But it is green, so that kind of counts. We're going to have to put in a new retention wall on the back, and, you know, I just know they're going to rip that up. But over here, we started fixing the grass. You can see there's a giant hole here that I just kind of put in after a few weeks. And then over here we started fixing the grass and yeah you can see this hole here it's coming in this is like a week and a half worth of stuff. It's really hot but um I pretty much tilted the entire earth over here to get us the moss up and then grow stuff in and part of it is working. We're doing this in like two different stages. Stage one over here look at this. It grew so nicely. Stage two was ripping up all of this and now all this is growing in. So hopefully we'll have some luscious green grass like this, this entire way. And the next year we'll probably knock out all of this ugly mess over here. I mostly did this one because there was giant holes in here and you would fall and trip and it wasn't fun. Anyway, let's go ahead and start gardening. Our cucumbers are planted. Now we're planting our tomatoes, at least some of them, because they're still little guys. They're gonna be smaller tomatoes. Cucumbers look great though. And then we're putting this cover on top. While Ira is taking care of replanting and putting stakes in and things, I'm over here just kind of watering my grass for a second. It's in the early evening, so I could do this. Um, and one thing is that it turns out we have new deer, a lot of new deer in our house or outside our house. And they're amazing, we love them, but they eat everything. And my wife spent a lot of time building up this like, front garden here with a bunch of stuff and as you could tell they've got eaten they get eaten hard i mean this thing here was blooming perfect and then boom eaten roses yep eaten there all those gone a couple pink ones left there's actually a bush over there was completely eaten and these ones over here someone snacked on them it, like they just come through and just eat everything these got eaten those got eaten these have got eaten off. It's like, come on, man. These flowers gone. Those flowers. I mean, they just took them all the way down to the roots. And then they started chewing on these. All gone. And I'm sure in my next video, I'll tell you that these got eaten. These have got eaten. Those have got eaten. That got eaten. This is because the squirrels keep cutting down my tree. And it's everywhere. So it's starting to get a little dark. But let me show you where we ended at. And it's not going to be where we're going to finish. Because... I want to redo it all. My wife didn't want me to do it the way that I wanted to do it. And the way that I was told to do it turned out really awful. 
And so I'm probably gonna rip this out and do it all over again. I'm talking about the fencing because I don't like the way it turned out. I wanted to do a two by four, at least four feet here, 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 and here. Have that as a swing gate so you can get in and out. Close up the whole back area with chicken wire, with chicken wire throughout the whole thing. And on top, it'd be a net. And then I'll put like metal pieces going in this way so that cucumbers can go up. And then I have cages for the tomatoes, but I was told no. And this is what we got stuck with. And I really hate it. Um, it just doesn't look good. And I know that the animals are still gonna get in. So more than likely I'm gonna rip it all out. Leave the plants of course, but rip it out and put it back in there. But you tell me what you wanna do or what you would do in this situation in the comment section below. I'm gonna go edit this video and put it online because I got a lot of work tonight and it's already, it's, I know it doesn't seem like it's late, but it's actually eight o'clock. It's still bright out. Couldn't be. Anyway, please subscribe, turn on notifications and give the video a thumbs up. And once again, let me know what you would do in the comment section below.